Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. So for you beautiful people today, we're gonna to be doing, I'm actually quite excited about this one because I'm a nosy cow, but anyway. Um, who are your haters? So this could be a friend, this could be a relative, this could be even a loved one, um, and so on. So yeah, let's have a look at your haters. So pile one, we've got the amethyst pin. And pile two, we've got the green pin. And pile three, we have, I'm sure it's aquamarine. Let's just go with blue, yeah? <laughs> so um, you choose your piles and I'll see you there. And take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't force anything. If it's not your pile, if you don't know that person, choose another pile. Um, and don't forget, these are energies that I do. So if the King of Swords comes out, um, that can still be that can still be female. Okay, so I'll see you at your piles. Hey, pile one. So if you chose this lovely amethyst pin, this is your reading. Um, I'm going to put them aside a minute. So I've pulled a few cards here just to see like um, what type of person you're dealing with. You know, some of their personality traits. Okay, so we have pick me. Willing to do anything for the approval of the opposite sex. Willing to embarrass or throw someone under the bus to achieve this goal. So, yeah, you're dealing with either a pick... I'm picking friendship pile with this pile, number one. Um, so, yeah, this could be someone that is all about pick me. You know, you know those people. Fake flexing. Pretending to have money, material wealth, putting on a front for all to show. So... Hmm, so this person pretends to be uh, well off, pretends to have the good things. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking fake handbags, you know, fake watches. You know, there's nothing wrong with fake, but they like to pretend that everything is real, you know. Uh, bad habits, suffering from toxic addictions, traits, mindsets and behaviours. They could have alcohol addictions, they could have smoking behaviors you know that kind of you know the up smoking stuff got to be careful on here um so yeah this person has a lot of bad habits okay so i'm picking up strong strong friendship and i don't know why strong sibling here as well okay <laughs> let's look them off so spirit tell me more about this uh tell me more about this hate alpha maya pile ones we have so this could be Aquarius energy guys okay and we've got nine of wands tell me more about this uh hater please spirit tell me more about that. my pile ones haters or hey, oh. Okay, good to be dealing with someone that's very stubborn because the cards are being stubborn. We've got nine of pentacles in reverse. Let me get one more. Tell me a bit more about that. Thank you. Oh, and the tower in reverse. Is it in reverse? No, it's not in reverse. And the overall energy is the Ten of Wands on the back of the deck. So like I said, you could be dealing with an Aquarius here because we do have the Star card. Um, oh, excuse me. Okay, with this hater, what I'm picking up here, pile one, is that they want to be you, okay? They want your life, they want what you have here, and I know that sounds kind of creepy, but this is what I'm seeing. There's a lot of envy here with the star card. Um, it's like, because we've got the nine of wands right next to it, they can't bear the fact that it's like, what I'm hearing is, 
things come easy to you, pile one. They most probably don't, but this is this person's mindset, okay? This is how they think. And um, your life is a bed of roses, but nobody's life is a bed of roses, okay? They think that, and that's what they want, and that's what they're really envious of. Um, Hang on a minute, guys. This is so funny. We got pretending to have money, material wealth, putting on the front, okay, for all to show. Now, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is pretending to have material wealth, pretending to have good things in life. Um, oh, God. I love when the cards match up. You know, this person lacks independence. Uh, maybe they rely on their parents or other people to support them. You know, even a partner. They don't have... Um, pick up, maybe they don't even have a job. Um, they overspend. It's like they, ha they don't have the funds to to actually be spending on the good things and that could be their bad habit here so this is who you're dealing with you know maybe you're not even aware that this person does this but i think you are my pile one this person what is it? They have a lot of problems. They carry a lot of a lot of. Uh, they've got a lot of issues. They've got a lot of problems. They've got a lot of burdens with the ten of uh, wands here. But the tower's the one that's worrying me here. What? What? I got. I don't know what. Blah, I'm trying to get it out. I don't know whether they're they're gonna plan on doing something to you or they've already done something to you. Is why I'm seeing the tower here. Tell me about the tower, please, spirit. Tell me about the tower. So this person is really, really envious of your your lifestyle. You know, you've got good things going on in your life, and it weighs them down a lot. It it bothers them. Right, we've got the push them up a bit. So we've got the Empress, Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and Knight of Knight of Pentacles, and Three of Cups on the back of the deck. Yeah, this is a friend. Okay, this is definitely a friend with the Three of Cups. You know what? It's it's very sad, really. I'm not I'm not picking up a horrible person here. I'm picking up somebody that is just so weighed down with jealousy and envy, which you know isn't that one of the deadly sins? I mean, I'm not I'm not into the Bible or anything like that, but I'm sure that's one of the deadly sins. And like envy is one of the ones that you really really shouldn't have a trait of, and this person does, and it's it's all aimed at you, okay, you are the divine feminine here, you know, don't forget if you're male watching this, you could still be the divine feminine, okay, um, wow, okay, you could be pregnant, there could be envy around that as well for some of you, you could be expecting, you could also be a mother or a father, it doesn't matter, you know, because this is a parent card, okay, um, but you are also, for some of you, you're very nurturing when it comes to this energy here, okay? You try to help them. You've been really helpful when it comes to this person. You know, you've bent over backwards and that's what the Empress does. She is so giving. She is so kind. She's, you know, she's just wonderful, okay? But 
I think you're getting to the stage where you may have to walk away from this person because they've they've done nothing but bought they've done all they've brought is trouble into your life you know trouble that wasn't wanted this person's brought into your life with a tower here okay it may have even been that you thought this person was so wonderful but now you're starting to see the cracks okay this tower is starting to fall you're starting to actually see the person behind the tower this is how i'm trying to explain it um and this is definitely a friendship group okay it's, it's a few of you you know you could have been friends for a long time For some of you, you could have a new job, you could be moving away as well, you could be moving, you know, moving away or your job's making you travel, um, or you could be even be moving in with someone. This has been, you've been planning this for a while, pile one, to like, you know, not necessarily move away from this friend, but you're hoping to get away from this friend and this job opportunity or this opportunity to move away. Um, which you've been thinking about for a very long time, has uh, given you the opportunity to leave this person behind. But for some of you, it could actually be that you may be walking towards this person it, when you move or start this new phase in your life here, okay? This could be a new friend that you're gonna be meeting. That's for some of you. But I wanna clarify this free of Three of emotions, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Three of Cups. <clears throat> wow, Ace of Inspiration, Ace of Wands as well. Yeah, you're leaving this behind for you, Paul One. Some of you, you may not even be there yet. You may not even know that this person um, is like this, okay? This is for some of you. But for some of you here that are watching, because I forget there's loads of you, you're already, you're already moving away from this person. You're already pulling your energy back. You're pulling yourself back from this person. We've even got the Ace of Wands, which is a passionate new beginning. It's a new job. So, so for some of you guys, you are starting something very new it's a new chapter in your life that you're very excited about and you're hoping it's going to take you towards decent friends okay or a decent friend because this person brought you nothing but dissatisfaction you know um nothing but stress you were just bored of the same thing the same drama with this person so tell me spirit what did this uh hater do to my uh pile one what did they do to my pile one? Eight of swords, that's not good. Three of... Three of wands. Tell me more about this Eight of Voices. I mean, the Eight of Swords is actually the worst card in the Tarot deck, in my eyes, anyway. Um, for, for your mental health, you know. The Devil, yeah, you were dealing with someone not very fucking nice. Anyway, that's... Whatever. I'm mumbling under my breath. <laughs> Hermit. Three of... Wow. Three of Swords. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords. Ooh, you sly, sly person. <coughs> <coughs> oh, jeez, jeez, Louise. Part one, you were dealing with somebody. Okay, so we've got the overview of, of um, this person being really envious of your life, okay? Um... This, so I asked, obviously, what did they do to you? So they've put you in the Eight of Swords, or they had you in the Eight of Swords, where you felt 
trapped. You felt like you, it was like, every time you tried to get away from this person, it was like you couldn't, you couldn't, they would end up coming back. Um, and you would try and come up with ways to get rid of them or maybe distance yourself from them with the three of wands here, but it just never, you, you never got that, that chance until now. This is like happening now or it's already happened. So yeah, with the Eight of Swords, You felt isolated with this person. For some of you as well, Pile One, this could have even been a relationship, okay? I'm not really seeing a lot of love here, but this could have been a relationship for some of you because we've got the Three of Swords, okay? And I'm getting a vibe of relationship for some of you that this person was a user would put you down in front of people, would boast about things that they had and take the credit for what you were actually providing for them, you know, which for what you were giving them, okay? Um, that's for some of you. But this, I am picking up strong friendship here. This is someone that would uh, literally just sponge off of you. And then we've got the devil energy here. The... And then the hermit. So this this person kept this trait, this this side of them a secret from you, okay? With the hermit and the devil here, you didn't you didn't know this was happening. Um, you didn't know this person felt this way about you, and this actually broke your heart with the three of swords. You, you it was like you couldn't believe that this person would actually do this to you. So there is a breakup here, you know, which I already saw in in the cards before. There is a breakup coming or there's already been a breakup, okay? Um, and what's really lovely, you've you've finally taken action towards this person, you know, and away from this person, you thought about a big change, okay? You, you decided to just take action, which is really nice because we've got the Eight of Swords as well here. So those two are action cards, those two are moving forward. So you have left this person behind or you are going to be leaving this person behind because, you know, with the devil energy, they would they would talk about you behind your back. They would um, they would do things in the dark is what I'm hearing. And with the devil here as well, with the bad habits, that reminds me of the devil card as well. You know, like addictions, um, possessiveness, controlling, you know, all, all that that comes with the devil card. Tell me about the devil card. Tell me about the devil card, please, spirit. Magician, oh god, this is two two cards together and we don't like it. Queen of Wands, you do yeah, free materials is a friend. This could be so even be a friend that you made through work, okay? The devil and the magician together is really not a good look. This is somebody that is um <laughs> The, the envy is so strong, this envy, this greed, this this obsession with you is is actually kind of really creepy pile one, okay? This person, if you don't believe in it, I believe in it. I don't do it myself unless it's like, you know, good stuff. But magic, okay? Like candle magic, dark magic. This person could be into things like that to try and affect you when it comes to your your life. Because they're doing something in the dark here. It's something that you don't know, that you're not aware of. And then we've got the Seven of Swords here. And I'm going to clarify that as well. This is someone that is uh, quite powerful, actually. But you are protected because you are the Empress, okay? You're the Divine Feminine. This person could only do so much to you. This is a Queen of Wands that you're dealing with. We've got a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, um, 
yeah we don't really have many we've got air sign gemini libra aquarius again that's the first court card that's actually come out so you're dealing with a queen of wands okay don't forget this can be male as well this is somebody that is um very pushy she could be a bully she could be very unfriendly as well she's very jealous very manipulative she's got a spiteful side to her as well um jesus and if she don't get her own way she'll know she'll let you know about it she'll like have a have a tantrum about it okay so let me find out about the seven of swords I'll keep looking at that tell me about the seven of swords I like to see the wheel. You're dealing with a karmic here, okay, with the wheel of fortune. The seven of swords is somebody that is all about trickery, all about playing games. They lie, they steal, they cheat. You know, I can go on and on and on, okay? They're dishonest, with the seven of swords. This person is a karmic that you're dealing with. This person also is receiving karma for what, what they've done to you, for all the gains, putting you in the eight of swords here. Tell me more about this uh, seven of swords. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Strength in reverse. Yeah, you know what? This person made you doubt yourself. The reason why they're um, they're uh, receiving karma for what they've done to you with the Seven of Swords. They made you doubt yourself. They made you question things, you know. Um, they made you vulnerable and insecure. That could be why the Seven of Swords is here. And because of this, they're going to receive um, karma for this. They wanted to see you in the five of, five of Cups here, which is grieving, suffering, you know, um, crying. You know, they wanted you to feel unloved. They wanted you to feel, I don't know, abandoned. I mean, this is this is a kind of a sick individual that you're dealing with, my part one. Look at the devil just flip there. All right, let me get some karmic messages for you because you're dealing with a bloody karmic here. Let's see what the karmic wants to say. What does this karmic want to say? This hater spirit. And then I'm going to get some advice for you, Paul. One, okay? So we've even got Leo energy. So we've got a lot of fire sign, uh, fire energy here, and a lot of air energy here, okay? Wow. Okay. So we have from the karmic here, feeling invisible, unhappy, sad and misunderstood. No, you're not misunderstood. This is the games that they play. This is the seven of, of swords here. So do not let them draw you back in with this woe is me um, crap. Remember, they're the devil, okay? But yeah, they are feeling invisible and sad, you know. And I feel like they feel like that when they're around you with other people because you obviously light up the room. You're, you know, the star came out first of all. You are the star. They're not. They're the devil. So there's no comparison really, is there? Intuition strong, deep knowing. And this is the thing about this, um, you know, the divine feminine over there. So, you know, um, they know that you know, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Does that make sense? They know that you were on to them. But you know what, because you're the Empress, you were too kind to actually say anything until you push the Empress too far and then she will say something and then she'll turn her back on you. But it takes a lot for the Empress to do that. 
Controlling behaviour, including giving unwanted advice, ordering or withholding money for affordable expenses in order to control. And this is what we got up there. This is somebody that is very controlling. Um, but the, the reason why, if they were giving you advice, my pal ones, it was to put you in the eight of swords. It was to make you feel insecure about yourself. And they love to see that. They love seeing you. Oh my God, look at this on the back of the deck jealousy and insecurity wow okay so let's get some advice what advice would you give my uh pal one two of cups what advice would you give my pal one please spirit i like to see the two of cups Spirit is saying you will find your soulmate, okay? It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a, a loved one, a soulmate. We meet people in our lives that are literally our soulmates. I mean, my two best friends that I've had for so many years. My male friend I've known for thir over 30 years. And my female friend, I, it just came up to 30 years the other week. So, you know, they're, they're my soulmates. The moon page of cups and ten of cups yeah you're gonna meet you're gonna meet oh, oh you know what you're gonna meet your soul family from what i'm seeing here okay which is really nice but the thing is with the moon Sometimes we don't want, with the moon here, we don't want things to change, okay, with fear of change. But with the moon, spirit is saying that, you know, this has to happen for you to move into a phase where you meet this soul family, okay? Um, I mean, look at the way they're dancing at the bottom here. Yes, Ten of Cups is all about love, but I'm not seeing love here. Look at the way all of the women are dancing at the bottom here. This is your soul family that you're going to be heading towards once you get rid of this toxic person in your life. Okay. Um, and I feel like once you move into this phase, you're going to get a lot of proposals coming from other people, you know, invitations, inviting you out. Um, you're going to enjoy life. It's going to be a different kind of people that you, you are hanging out with once you leave this and move on and if some of you have not left this behind at least you know that this person is um very manipulative very spiteful so let's get a little bit more advice from spirit any more advice the queen of swords was just on the back of the deck and just flicked over again Spirit's voice to uh, voice. Spirit's advice to you is look, move, fall, is be the Queen of Swords. Okay, she is somebody that has been wounded. You know those wounds go really deep. Um, but the Queen of Swords is somebody that is very intelligent. Okay, you're very honest. You have integrity. But the great thing about her or him is she could see through crap from a mile away and this is what spirit is saying with the moon as well and there was another card use that intuition of yours your intuition is strong okay that card there use that you'll see who's who's right for you and who's not right for you spirit is saying to take that leap of faith move forward leave this behind don't stay you know take a chance so my pal one i'm going to leave it there um, if you like this video, please hit like and you have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, pal two. So if you chose this green pin, this is your reading. So let me just move them to the side. So I'm going to look at the characteristics of the person that is your hater, you know, see who they are. So we've got high key, always drawing attention, very obvious, assertive, very public. So this person likes attention. They maybe come into a room and then like, you know, you know, they're there. Okay. I'm, I'm hearing loud mouth. A bit like me. Anyway, this could be an earth sign. This situation involves an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Then we've got legal issues. Someone got sued fighting court battles, getting a lawyer contracts going wrong. So this person could have been sued or is going through a legal battle at the moment. And we've got big mad, very triggered, mad as F, angry about a situation or someone. So this person could be going through a divorce, um, maybe due to their own behavior here. And they're really mad about it or they're angry about someone that someone could be you so let's have a look guys tell me more about this hater from a pole to spirit please tell me more about this hater why do they hate my pole to oh geez louise queen of cups strength justice yeah, they're going for a court battle at the moment. Judgment as well. Who is this? Seven of Swords. Ooh, overall energy. Let's put you there. It could be you, my uh, pile twos, that are going for a, a, a legal battle with this person. And it could be to do with money here. It could be a divorce that you're actually going through. Okay, so this can be an ex or it can be something to do with what something's happened here that you are in a battle with them. Um, you are the Queen of Cups, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got Leo. We've got Libra. Blimey, we've got we've got it all, <laughs> okay? Um, you are the Queen of Cups. I like that. You know, you're somebody that's very loving and warm. You're kind, but your intuition is always spot on. You've got your psychic abilities as well. You're an empath. You know, you pick up moods in a room here. You're doing very well for yourself as well, you know, money is good for you. But you're having to find this strength here to deal with this court or this legal issue here with justice. But you know what, you're, you're actually, whatever this is, is that you are winning. It's like, okay, it's not a competition, but it's going in your favour from what I'm seeing here. You may have had to use a bit of trickery to get, get it to go in your favour, or it could be that this person with the Seven of Swords, which I'm going to clarify, is up to no good. And this is, I'm taking this because this is the overall energy I'm taking. This is a bit of a warning here. So tell me about the Seven of Swords. Tell, geez, all right. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Divine Feminine. You could have children with this person. You could also you could be pregnant by this person as well. Uh, yeah, tell me a bit more about the Seven of Swords. Oh, okay. What the devil? Three of Wands. Two of Swords. Three of Cups. The magician, magician and devil came out in part one as well. Those two together, I didn't like it. So, okay, look, I'm seeing here that it, you know, two's company, three's a crowd. I feel like this person may have cheated on you guys, okay, and you found out. And that could be why you're going through this separation. You know, there's legal issues here because you've got, you know, things that need to be sorted out here. Things were kept in the dark from you. You know, things were hidden. You didn't realise that you were, if you were married to this person, you know, what have you, you didn't realise this person was really toxic, you know, and was looking elsewhere and was putting it about is what I'm seeing here. Okay, they were very, very clever at manipulating you. And people around them, they wore a mask when it came to you.
you know, and you, this could have been a friend of yours that this happened with as well for you, Paul, too. This, this, they could have got involved with your friend. Okay, and you didn't want to see that, that that actually was happening with the Two of Swords here. You, you were very conflicted of, you know, am I just being paranoid? But this could be the behaviour of the devil and the magician here for you, Paul, too, because, um, this is how they manipulate how they confuse you we've got the moon as well so it's like you were very very confused it, it, i'm picking up a lot of gaslight in here tell me about this devil energy here what did it what did they do spirit tell me about the devil ten of pentacles two of cups lovers yeah it's exactly what i just said they they may have left you actually for this third party i am picking up strong strong friend here that they did the dirty with okay um they chose somebody else over you you know you invested so much into this partnership here you were in love with this person you thought this was your soulmate but really it's not your soulmate this is a karmic okay um and there's a lot of money involved in this relationship here okay it's it's generational wealth it could have been money that was handed down to you my pal to or to the devil here so now there's this battle there's this battle here to do with finances and property here and what's making me laugh is i'm picking up there may have been a clause in your marriage contract if you want to what they called what they called um oh what Prenup. It's really funny, actually, talking about prenups. <laughs> I'm going to be a bitch right now. Hopefully my husband don't actually watch this or the mother-in-law. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> but when I met my husband, he, when we both met, he had nothing. And I'm on about nothing. If anything, I was supporting him at the beginning. And I know I'm laughing, but it's just the audacity. Because, you know, mother-in-laws, most of them don't like the partners, you know that's how it goes um so yeah she she said to me if um if i'd had my way you would have signed a prenup and i looked at her and i was like mm, he had nothing and no i wouldn't have signed the prenup so you know now because he's doing really really well for himself there's a lot of money involved it's like i don't think she likes that but anyway i'm babbling um but yeah so I'm picking up prenup here and I think the clause in that prenup for some of you may have been that if you cheat, um, you're buggered basically. And this is why this person is really, really angry is because they're trying to find a way to get around this, but there is no way to get around it. That's why I'm saying I feel like you are actually winning this battle with this person. You know, they made the bed, they chose somebody else. It is what it is. Seven of Wands in reverse. Let's have a look. Tell me about the lovers. The tower. Tower. Ace of Swords. Queen of Swords. I hopefully you can see that there. Well, who knows? <laughs> Um, the Wheel of Fortune, Karma. Do you know what's what's really funny here is that they chose this other person over you. They made a mistake here with the tower. They literally disrupted their whole life, their security for somebody that, that has brought nothing but problems, you know. And now it's been re revealed to them, it's been shown to them that they've had some kind of clarity about, like, crap, I've made a mistake here. They've ended up with the Queen of Swords. They had you, the Queen of Cups, the Empress here, okay? They've ended up with a Queen of Swords that is, can be very cold and very harsh at times as well. They've ended up with someone that is very malicious, can be cruel. Um, she or he is very, very obsessive. So they've ended up with a karma, a karmic. So they could have ended up with, you could have been their soulmate, but they've made a mistake here. 
now they've got themselves in with a karmic and now they're trapped. So let me get a message here quickly and then I'll go back to the tarot cards from these two because I do believe you're dealing with two karmics here. Um, what message does the karmics have for... So this could be from your partner, ex-partner, uh, or from the Queen of Swords, okay? If you can hear licking and stuff, that's my dog. <laughs> so we have options. We all have options, including you. So your partner is saying, you know, that... But I don't know, I find this quite arrogant really, this 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 here. It's like, you know, well Oh whatever. I fake depression. Oh no. Oh wow. I fake the pregnancy to keep him around. Okay, this is for some of you, okay, because it could even explain the Empress energy there. It could be, you know, I said you could have children with this person. Now, looking at this and this, it could be that this person lied about being pregnant. So this is coming from both of them, scam likely, block calls, playing on your phone. So this energy here of the Queen of Swords, because I said she's malicious, could actually be blocking your calls from this person, could be deleting text messages. So if you're not getting any response to certain things, it's because this Queen of Swords is actually um, getting hold of the phone first. Angry, upset, annoyance, displeasure or hostility, full of anger. I'm mad as F, I can't even be mad at you, it's him. So they're not happy, these two. They're really not happy. As I said, it's, it, it has its turn toxic. He's made a big mistake. He or she has made a big mistake with the tower here. So they're both really, really um, dissatisfied, unhappy. You know, we've got Big Mad there as well. Arguments or problems that don't get resolved. Yeah, there you go. These two, good luck to them. Whatever, you both deserve it. That's all I'm going to say. You made your bed, you lie in it now. Yeah, wow. So, Spirit, does my pole twos need to be careful of anything here in regards to this hater? They need to be careful. Queen of Wands. The Hermit. The World. No, Spirit is saying, no, you really don't. You've got, you are the Queen of Wands as well. You know, you're somebody that will stand her ground. You know, you'll stand up for what's right. You're very strong as a person here, okay? Um, we've got Virgo energy, fire energy here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You know, you're taking time out to literally reflect on everything that went wrong, where it went wrong, you know, things that you didn't see that was happening around you. And you know what Spirit is saying, you're closing the chapter here with, it's done for you, the world, It's you're totally done with this person, this whole situation. I feel like you just want to get over this legal issue here and then, you know, you can close the door on it and throw away the key, basically. So let's get some advice for you. What advice would you give my pile twos? Do that again. What advice would you give my pile twos? again mm. 
Sorry about the other ones in reverse. This is about quit quitting and giving up. Tell me about seven of wands in reverse. You're like the rocks. What's up? Oh, it won't be long. No, I can't strike you. Stop it. You chuck you. Uh, tell me about the seven of wands in reverse. Yeah, you're giving up on the Emperor, okay? You know what? This is very sad, guys. This is, um... Like I said, it could have been your soulmate. This, you know, this this was... You two were supposed to be together with the Empress and the Emperor here. Divine Feminine Masculine here. And... This Emperor... I don't know turn toxic, turn bad, um, and it's really sad because the emperor, you know, they're very, you know, they're, they're, they like to be in authority, you know, they like authority, they like rules, you know, this is somebody's husband, this is a provider, you know, the children, children's father or mother, But you've given up on on this emperor now. I feel like you you may not have had a genuine emperor here. You now you're looking at this person as being very weak, okay? Because we've seen that here because they they strayed. You know, this is somebody that abused their power. This is somebody that was very controlling and manipulative, which we've got that with the magician and the devil. And you're on a mission, spirit is saying advice to you is move forward, maybe give up on the idea of maybe some of you, my pal twos, are hoping that things will work out. But spirit is saying is just give up on this energy of the emperor. Then they're not a good person. Start again is what spirit is saying. Love yourself is what spirit is saying. Put yourself first. Tell me about the emperor. Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, Three of Swords, mm, there you go, Spirit said it all, guys, Spirit is saying this person betrayed you, I mean for goodness sake we've got the Three of Swords which is a third party card, you know, they, it's cheating, it's breaking your heart, um, it's unrequited love as well, this person betrayed you with the Ten of Swords, you know, they stabbed you in the back so many times, and I do feel like this person did have other options, you know, they were looking elsewhere, they were playing away. I don't feel like there was one, I said that at the beginning. Um, this person's very greedy, very self-centred, very all about myself, me, myself and I, it's what, what pleases me, okay? It was never about the family and the home and the marriage and the commitment here. If anything, they shattered. Shattered. They sh they shattered your dreams. You know, they the tower came out. They just literally ruined everything. And spirit's advice to you here is: if you were to get back with them, they would do it again. You know, this is the advice coming from spirit here. It would not change. You know, the ten of cups is not guaranteed. The Ten of Pentacles is guaranteed. You you got the ten, two tens here, but it was them that strayed. Very sad situation, really. So Spirit wants you to take that leap of faith, move forward, and, you know, um, be excited for the future. Even travel is what Spirit is saying as well, if that's something that you've been wanting to do, Pile 2. So I'm going to leave it there, Pile 2. If you like this reading, please hit like. And you have a lovely day, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, Pile 3. So if you chose this blue pin, 
um, this is your reading. So let me put that over there. So I'm going to look at the characteristics of the person that is your hater or the people. So far, it's just been one person, but anyway. So this is a home wrecker, breaking up a happy family, having affairs, don't respect their boundaries. So this could be someone that exactly is a home wrecker and they don't care. They'll go after anyone's man or woman, you know. Marriage, making a commitment, solid love, long-term relationships. So this person could be someone that's um, married already, but has affairs that you're aware of. Or it could be even you that has has got married and there is a warning coming through here that this person will will go after your spouse here because they don't give a crap okay that is a warning that i'm picking up quite strongly here shady giving the impression of dishonesty questionable suspicious untrustworthy yeah you're dealing with oh guys be careful okay tell me about this uh, uh this hater please for my pile three this home wrecker tell me about this home wrecker please spirit You know, it could be the reason why they hate you so much is because, you know, your marriage is, is lovely, you know, beautiful. You're committed to one another. Maybe they've tried to wreck your marriage, tried to come on to, yeah, look, emperor, husband material here. Um, oh, hang on. Okay, I don't know whether you're aware of this, guys. The Empress, uh, the High Priest. Okay, I do not know whether you're aware of this, but you're going to become aware of it now because I'm going to grass. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to grass. <laughs> but you may not have got told. Okay, you're dealing with your spouse here, which is the Empress. So whether you're male or female, it does not matter. Emperor is divine, feminine, masculine. We have it in us all. Okay. So just switch it around. So this is a husband. I'm gonna go with husband because it's, it's a male card. And this is someone that is very loyal, okay, that has morals, that he's a provider, you know, he could be the father of your children as well, okay? So this is your spouse that we're dealing with here. Something happened that you may not be aware of, some of you you may be aware of about this home wrecker here that may have tried to come on to your partner but they put a stop to it, which is really nice to see with the death card. They did not let it go any further. And yeah, they cut that, that crap off. Because of the High Priestess being here, I'm wondering whether some of you may not even know about this. Okay, so this could even be a family member. I'm going to find out who this is. Family member or a friend. It's somebody close to you that did this. But it's being kept in the dark from you. It's because it, High Priestess is all about secrets being kept, okay? Um, and sometimes she doesn't give up her secrets, sometimes she does give up her secrets, but obviously she has in this reading for you guys, which I like to see. So, this is something that you, because the Page of Swords is there as well, this is something that you have not been told because this is some delayed news, okay? It's something that was delayed in being told to you. Or said to you, however you want to phrase it. Um, and the, we've got the Nine of Wands as well, okay. This Emperor's been holding on to this for a while. And they're really worried about telling you. Because maybe there's some kind of manipulation tactic or blackmail here. That they're going to say, because you're so close. I am picking up you're so close to this person. That you're going to believe them over your Emperor. But do you know what? From what I'm seeing here, I would not believe this home wrecker over the emperor here. Let me find out who is this home wrecker to my pile three, please, spirit. Who are they? Who are they to my pile three? It's too many, spirit. Come on, tell me who this is, please, spirit. Who is this? America. you've known them for a long time with the page of pentacles here so we've got aries we've got gemini libra aquarius we've got uh scorpio energy here taurus virgo capricorn as well the devil capricorn again oh, God. 
you know the devils come out in in um all the piles tell me more about this uh home wrecker here this hater of my pile freeze who are they it's a friend someone very close to you they're a king of cups you speak to this person often okay my pole uh my pole freeze this is someone you can communicate you text a lot you phone each other a lot so it's very close friendship here okay um this is somebody that is the king of cups male female it doesn't matter they come across as being so compassionate caring sympathetic blah 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 but i'm taking the pee because this person has a dark side to them. They play games, okay? There's a very jealous side to this King of Cups. They'll play mind games. They'll emotionally manipulate you, okay? And this is why I feel like your Emperor is really worried about the hold that this King of Cups has over you. Um, this person can, could have mood swings as well. They could be quite moody. So one minute their mood's up, one minute their mood's down. Um, this is someone that is a cheater as well, which we've got that, a home wrecker. They do not care who they cheat on, what home they wreck. <clears throat> this person could take things to heart very quickly as well, okay, guys? So it could be, you could be joking around with them, but they're too sensitive and it'd be like they, their feelings get hurt. You know, so you have to apologise, that kind of friend. This person could have experienced some kind of poverty recently. They could have experienced um, a lot of struggles. They could have been ill as well recently. But you're dealing with somebody that is very controlling, very manipulative, okay? They, they, they could be dealing with a narcissist as well. You could be dealing with someone that has addictions, and I do, I'm picking up. I feel like this is some kind of it gives them a high to do this to people it's like some kind of power dynamic here like look at the power that I've got over you you know I took your man or I took your woman it's actually kind of giving me the the ick here tell me about the devil energy here please spirit tell me about this devil so it could be Dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, very strong in this as well. Tell me about this devil. Yeah, look. Someone you talk to a lot. Somebody that you... You share ideas with, interests with. It could even be someone that you even work with. You could work together, you know. Tell me about this Three of Cups. magician they're after what you have they're after i mean maybe this is somebody that actually wants your emperor here this time you know wants your life is what i'm seeing because you are the ten of pentacles you two have built a life together you know you've got a family some of you, you may not have a family but you want to start a family here okay this is guaranteed with the ten of pentacles it's happiness i mean in the paired with the ace of pentacles is even just as nice you know lovely yeah with the magician here this is somebody that wants to It's like they want your life. They want what you have with the magician. This is somebody that is very greedy or obsessed with you. <sighs> so what should my uh, pile twos be aware of? Oh, 
Okay. Ten of Swords. This person's going to stab you in the back. And they may have already succeeded. So for some of you, okay, if you already know about this and then you believe that you're, you believe this friend over your emperor here, this is for some of you, be made aware here that it was a lie. It was absolute BS, okay? This person stabbed you in the back and they succeeded in doing this. For some of you, if it hasn't happened yet and now you're seeing this, be very careful because they, they are going to succeed in bringing a wedge between both of you here. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, please, Spirit. They could be convincing you to look elsewhere. They could be bad mad mouthing you in regards to your partner here. Um, it also could be that they're hoping that you, once they stab you in the back, you're going to turn your back on your emperor. This is somebody that's very, very clever in how they control the situation, how they control you, okay? Um, they're waiting for a perfect opportunity to do this to you. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Page Hierophant. King of Pentacles. This is usually with the Page of Pentacles, okay? This is somebody that is loyal to you, okay? Someone that you can rely on. Spirit is actually saying that you can rely on your spouse here because the Hierophant is all is marriage. It's um it's a commitment here. It's being faithful to one another. So spirit is saying that your partner is actually very loyal to you. You know, you've got the King of Pentacles. This is somebody that is faithful to you. Somebody that is has taken their vows seriously here. But this energy here is going to cause problems with the nine of wands. They're going to they're going to wound this connection here. Oh my goodness! Tell me more about this homewrecker spirit. What are they going to do? Wow, well, we can sort of see what they're going to do. Yeah, look, they're going to. Oh my goodness me, my pole freeze. Please be very careful, okay, of this person. That you see, look the. King of Swords as well. This is somebody that is so clever. They they could have um, problems with um, intimacy. This person, you know, showing affection, showing love. Sometimes they can be quite cold and quite harsh. And the the thing about this person is because they are the King of Swords, they're very very clever. You know, they've got the brain for this this kind of thing you know, to do this to people. They're very intelligent, okay? And they're very, de they're gonna be detached when they do this. There, there is no feeling here. There is no remorse. There is no, uh, you know, guilt for doing it. I'm not seeing any of that here. This is someone that is cold and callous, basically. And they want you to walk away from your emperor here Wow, this is this is really like giving me a bloody headache. This is somebody that abuses their position here, abuses their relationships they're in, abuses the people that they're supposed to care about. Just be careful as well. It could end up turning violent, guys. Tell me about the five of swords. All right, rocks. Tell me about the five of swords. Ow, see, cow. Tell me about the five of swords. 
Yeah, look, they want you to walk away from your Ten of Cups. Wow, you, you part three, are dealing with a, a sick individual here. I don't... I see no remorse. They want you to walk away from your Ten of Cups, which is your family, your home, your life that you built together, you know. This is guaranteed, guys, with the Ten of Pentacles. This is this is long-term commitment. Yeah, the, the Ten of Cups is not guaranteed, but you've been with this Emperor for a very long time, and they want you to... They want to destroy it. Why do they want to destroy this connection, Spirit? Why does this hate want to destroy... The connection they want victory again it's there they were king of swords again because they don't like you sorry to say it like that they really don't this person has no integrity whatsoever and like i said it's like a drug to them it's like this you know with vi the victory card here it's like this feeling pleased with themselves that look I can do this to anybody because I have the power didn't we get the devil I think we did and my lights flickering as well so I take that as confirmation so spirit how can my pole freeze hand look my lights going mad how can my um pole freeze handle this situation handle this hater here how can I handle it So what I'm seeing here is that Spirit is saying that you could maybe get outside people to, to help you with this, okay? You may need to be sneaky about this. You may need to be, you know, one step ahead of, of this energy here. You need to be made aware. It could be outside influences coming in to help you. I mean, it could even be this reading that actually helps you, my pile free. Once you've seen it, you're going to be like, oh, oh cr right, crap, you know? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. I mean, it, also what I'm seeing here as well, guys, this, this is on the back of the deck. Um, it could also be for some of you, okay, not, I'm not getting it strongly, but I am seeing it. This could have actually already happened. You could have actually, actually split from your spouse here because of this person. Okay. Um, but that's for some of you. Spirit is saying that you need to get outside help here to help you with this. It's somebody that you can rely on that, um, what's it, what you're doing, love? Um, get outside help here tell me about the six of pentacles here someone that you can trust tell me about the six of pentacles nine of the four Yeah, Spirit wants you to maybe get some help from someone that you trust here because what's, what is going to happen here, your security is going to become unbalanced with temperance here, okay? Everything is going to fall apart if, you know, and I don't mean to be drastic, but you do need help here. It's, get, you know, with the Knight of Cups here, get help from somebody that is, um, you could be dealing with Sagittarius here, somebody that is loyal to you you know that has um you know deep affection for you it's 
somebody that is trustworthy here that's in your life that you can actually trust that will help you with this tell me about the five of wands You've known this person for a very long time, okay? You've known this could even be a childhood uh, friendship here. You've got that closeness. You've got you've shared a lot of memories with this person. So I'm clarifying the five of wands, which is um, outside influences that are affecting this connection, okay? This can be fights, arguments, um, bullying even, okay? This could be what this person is has, has done to you or is going to do to you. This also speaks of making a poor decision here. Some, some, this King of Wands in reverse is gonna is gonna make a big mistake here. This is someone that is cold, you know, unfriendly. I'm just it, like literally getting so much of the cheat energy here. It's it's not even funny. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles in reverse, please, for it. Oh, jeez. The truth. The truth is going to come out, guys. It's going to be revealed to you. Yeah, the truth is going to come out. And it's also coming up with an idea or coming up with a plan as well to to deal with this energy here you know you could end up losing a lot of sleep over worrying about this you could end up you know feeling depressed and down about it you could also feel quite lonely in that that who do you trust who who can i go to who can i speak to Right, let me get some messages from this energy here, from this hater. Let's get a few messages and then I'll get some advice. What message does this hater have from our pile phrase? Oh, I don't want to give it up. So releasing, letting go of all this drama. So yeah, that could be you guys, okay? That you're releasing this person here. I fake the pregnancy to keep her around. So for some of you, this could be what they're planning on doing. This could be planning on coming and telling you that they that your spouse got them pregnant, okay? But it's bullshit. Um, like I said earlier, that it, you know, if this has actually happened and you are separated from your emperor here. This is what they did. Scam likely block calls playing on your phone. So it could be they could have something on your phone that they've put on there. Like, um, you know, where you can mirror a phone so they receive your messages. There's something wrong. There's something going on on your phone. So I'd check that if I was you, Pile Free. Because if this person's very close to you, they'll have access to your phone. Options. We all have options, including you. So. You know, there's, it's like no hard feelings, if you know what I mean. That's the attitude I'm getting from that. Arguments or problems that don't get resolved. 
but that's what they want this what this is what they want to happen is that this can't be resolved you know that it, it goes too far it could be that you're it could be that you're you know when you find out you don't forgive this person you don't believe him or her and then that's the damage done okay you know this is what the warning here as well that i'm picking up that just be very careful because the emperor could end up walking away from you and not actually wanting to forgive you for believing somebody else over them so there's a little warning there as well options and choices more than one i'm sure you have options too he's not the only one in your life but that is what this energy is going to be telling you or has already told you <clears throat> jealousy envious trying to be like you move on i'm not going anywhere i'll always be around and this is what they're trying to tell you but hopefully hopefully you you will end up walking away no job a deadbeat child support 18 years this could be someone that is actually a deadbeat that um that is lacking and this is why they're so that they're after your life here you know but that's that's for some of you and on the back of the deck we have revenge inflicting hurt or harm on someone for injury or wrong suffered at their hands and this is what is being screaming upon me in this reading my pile freeze please be careful i mean like i said it could have actually happened so what's your advice to my pile freeze spirit what advice would you give them the love of spirit what advice are you giving them i think the spirit's advice to you here actually is choose make sure you write okay thanks spirit choose make <laughs> make the right choice is what spirit is saying look at the bigger picture look at what's being told told to you what what is being shown to you you know this person could have evidence but it's fake it's something to, you know there's something to do with the phone here as well Make sure you make the right choice, okay? Is what Spirit is saying. What advice would you give my pile freeze? Yeah, because look, it's all an illusion. You're going to be told something about your partner here, but it's lies. It's an illusion. You know, it's deceit. You know, and this is going to bring you a lot of pain, okay? When you do find out something or you hear about your partner, it is going to make, it's going to cause you, you know, your heart to break here. But Spirit is saying, the moon, it's, it's an illusion. It's not real. What more advice would you give them? Seven of Pentacles. Spirit is saying, have patience, okay? Um, don't rush into acting. Four of Cups. Why the Four of Cups, Spirit? I think it's Spirit saying that don't, don't, do not reject this person. Oh, your spouse, not your, not whoever this high wrecker is. Yeah, stand your ground. Do not fall for this. You know, protect your, your relationship here. Any more advice from a pal? Free. Hmm. do you know what's really nice about seeing the nine of cups here yeah you're gonna deal with you're gonna end up dealing with this whole situation in the correct way okay because you see your partner as your wish fulfillment you know you're very happy with your person but this person is trying to destroy that 
and you are going to take action towards this person or this situation here you're going to deal with it correctly you know we've got the wheel of fortune as well which is dealing with this karmic this is an actual karmic that you're dealing with okay um, and the table's about to turn the tide is about to turn you can you've got the strength to deal with this yeah look judgment final decision you're gonna be you know you're gonna make a final decision about this friend and i do believe you're actually going to cut them out for good because you're going to realize what's more important to you And this is like a wake-up call is what spirit is saying here it's finally you've woken up from this deep sleep of of who this person is that's in your life and this person is the queen of wands it's the other woman or the other man it's always that the mistress you know it's 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 that energy that they will use their body their looks you know this person could actually be very good looking and they make you feel a bit insecure pile free but they're using their body to get what they want, but it didn't work with the Emperor. And the Emperor didn't tell you about this because they didn't want... I do believe that the Emperor knows how close you are to this person that, like I said, you wouldn't believe them. And this could be what this energy's got over the Emperor here as well, is that, you know, maybe they're blackmailing him. Tell me about the Emperor's spirit. Tell me about this emperor. What is this home record doing to the emperor? Yeah, look, this is someone that is so, you know, loyal. They're, 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 they're wonderful, basically, with the start. There's someone that, you know, has made all your dreams come true. They see you as... as their their dream coming true and maybe they never admit that to you chariot and the eight yeah look at this brilliant this has just clarified the first cards that came out here they see you as the star okay they see you as their wish fulfillment okay they want this life with you they want to build with you this energy here, the Queen of Wands has come out again. This is the other woman, the other man. What happened was that this person, your emperor, moved away from this person. And I feel like they actually keep their distance from this friend. Maybe you've questioned why your partner is keeping their distance from um, this Queen of Wands. Maybe they're never, never alone in a room with this person because they don't trust the Queen of Wands. Okay? They've walked away from this having any kind of connection with this queen of wands yeah just be careful with this queen of wands pile through it just keeps coming out with warning here that they're about to do something they're about to take action and i'm telling you in this reading i see no cheating i see no deception here from your emperor i'm just seeing it all on the part of the friend here okay so you know you've got to do what's right is what spirit's saying you've got to make the right decision and see through the illusions with the lovers as well um so i'm going to leave it there pal free you have a lovely day and you take care and i'll see you soon bye